and the Oscar goes to Alice in Wonderland, Robert Stromberg, production design, Karen O'Hara, set decoration. This is the second Academy Award and third nomination for Robert Stromberg. This is the first Oscar and second nomination for Karen O'Hara. I think Rob and I were really surprised when we were at the Academy Awards when we heard our names. When you're sitting in the audience, you're surrounded by all of the other designers and decorators. I, I kind of think from looking at snapshots that everybody was surprised that, that we had won. It was, it's a huge honor and it was very nerve wracking for me just because I realized that I was going to have to speak in front of so many people. Um, but it was really, it was, it was, it's a thrill. There's no denying that. The things that I really enjoy about sack decoration is creating the environment and hopefully after an, you know conversations with the designer and the director uh, about who each character is, hopefully um, uh, my department and I, we can bring something to the film that, you know, maybe it's just a backdrop, but it's uh, it maybe can reveal a couple of details that um, aren't necessarily in the narrative. I remember on Silence of the Lambs, there's a scene uh, where Lecter is uh, inside of a, a cube. I remember thinking that just after all the research we had done, some books we had read about uh, serial killers, uh, and also thinking about Lecter's passion for food, that in this little cell, when he started to begin having some um, perks, that maybe I would uh, get him some magazines and some books. So we uh, bought a Larousse uh, Gastronomique and um, some Bon Appetit and some other magazines. And I just sort of placed those in there as set dressing. Good evening, Clarice. When the crew arrived and they started to shoot, they must have found something, you know, they must have also thought that was a, a good uh, contribution. It was kind of really large on the screen and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I placed it in there and then it suddenly it's there, you know, it's part of the movie. In Alice in Wonderland, the decision was made to film um, a lot of the sets in green screen environments and just build the pieces that the actors would interact with. Uh, Tim Burton and Johnny Depp were talking about the sequence when Alice arrives. Um, Johnny decided that, you know, he was going to be so excited to see Alice that instead of getting up and kind of walking around the table, he decided he was going to walk across the tables. So for me in the set decoration department, so every everybody's, you know, very calm and of course, it was a great idea, but I'm thinking, A, I have to make the tables uh, structurally sound so that an actor can walk across it, B, that he's going to, and it's part of the humor of it too, that he'll be stepping into the food and all the dishes and that we've got to get triples and doubles on dishes that, you know, were vintage and um, the tablecloths and have to we have to have extras of those. And so those are the, just the kinds of things that you kind of, you know, go off and, and then you do and so that it all works for the sequence. But that's how things evolve where something, you know, can get bigger on my on my end that just, you know, you have to just make it work for them. Whether you're working on something that's contemporary or um, old, set decoration and, and also the art department, it requires a lot of research. Um, even if you're doing something sort of futuristic, um, um, it requires a, a, just a lot of research and relying on some experts in various fields. That's what I love about set decoration is to, I'm always learning about people and their jobs and what they've chosen to to do and um, the things they surround themselves with. The advice I would give to somebody who wants to work as a, a set decorator, um, be very aware of choices of 
the way people live, the choices of things that they surround themselves with. Second, I would say to get as much education as you possibly can to study architecture, to study tech fabrics, to study uh, furniture, to study color. Um, and lastly, to uh, just mentor with people that you respect and people whose work you like, other artists.